What's up my meatballs? It's Aaron and Mar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we defeated the Sin- Oh no we didn't. That was the episode before that. Last time, we saved Lostel on Islands 1, 2, and 3 because we had to travel all over. This time, all that's left to do is... Challenge the final gym leader. Gym leader number 8 of Viridian City. Should be the first one. Actually, it shouldn't because we would get stomped on if it was the first one. But we're going to go ahead and bring, uh, let's see, Ninetales back because I had to fly back because freaking, what's it called? None of my Pokemon can fly yet. Sucks. And I guess that's all we're going to do. We're going to head over to the gym right now and just, you know, get started right, right away. We're just going to hop right in after I get over there. So come over here and do that. Viridian Gym Leader's returned! Viridian Gym's leader has returned, is what that says. I said it incorrectly. Yo, champ in the making! Even I don't know the Viridian Leader's identity. But one thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all the Gym Leaders. Also, I heard that the trainers here like ground-type Pokemon. Viridian Pokemon Gym Leader? Question mark. Winning trainers? Blue. Alright, so... Blue has beaten him. Blue basically is always one step ahead of us, so... Oh, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna have to, you know, make our way fighting all kinds of trainers. So... It's not gonna be fun. Alright. I think we don't need to go that way. I think we may need to go this way, to be honest. So let's see. Alright, so it really feels like I'm unprepared. I feel like Leonardo's the only one who can actually do something against half of these Pokemon uh, in terms of how super effective their moves are going to be. I'm going to see what I have here. I have Water Pulse, which I could give to Leonardo, but it's already got Surf, and I mean, Surf is a, a more powerful move. I mean, Water Pulse has the added thing that it could confuse the foe, but I mean, to be honest, that's not really worth it. In my opinion, anyway. Um, I could teach Toxic to somebody, because I think every Pokemon can learn Toxic. Bullet Seed? Can anyone learn bu Bullet Seed? No. Because Bullet Seed would be good. Blizzard? Blizzard would be excellent. Leonardo can learn that. I'll probably replace one of the HNs with that once we get towards the end. Giga Drain? Nice! Peas can learn Giga Drain, and so can Momo. That is actually really cool. Um... I'm going to sit here and think about who can learn what. Solar Beam. No one can learn Solar Beam. Brick Break. I know that Fig Fest can learn Brick Break. As can, uh, what's it called? Leonardo. Fire Blast. Aerial Ace, which would be good. Um, well, that's not good against ground types. Steel Wing. Let's go ahead and teach Momo Steel Wing. I'm pretty sure Steel has a super effective advantage on ground. I'm probably wrong, though. But either way, it's better than Supersonic. Actually, no, it's not. Supersonic would be good. Air Cutter versus Wing Attack. High critical hit ratio. I'm going to keep Air Cutter. Because Wing Attack, for now, just bleh. Eventually, I'll be able to freaking put Fly on it. And we'll be able to evolve into a Crobat. But for now, this ain't ain't the deal. Alright, Momo learns Steel Wing. Um, I'm going to teach Giga Drain to... Oh, Peeves, that would be awesome. That would be great, especially for this gym because it's got levitate, so it can't get hit by ground moves. That is awesome. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna get rid of curse. Screw curse. All right, shiny, shiny peas. All right. All right. Now let's see. Blizzard. I'm gonna save. Toxic. I'll save. I'll save everything else. But okay. 
So that's that, and we got another fight coming up here. So, let's do it. I'm the Karate King! Your fate rests with me! Alright, so now that guy's moved out of the way, we'll be able to actually get around him. Those three I will save for off-screen. The ones to the left. Alright, there's that. And look, we're already there. So I'm gonna fight everyone off-screen, and uh, I'm going to... Oh, what's it called? I'm going to heal as well. And I'll meet you guys back as I enter the Viridian City Gym to fight the leader. Alright, now you may be wondering who this secret, super secret gym leader is, because we only saw him for a glimpse. Well, we're about to find out this time on Pokemon Leaf Green! Uh... Um... Uh, okay, I have to go this way. Gotta do it differently now that I have beaten all the trainers. Go this way and around. There we go. What's this? Who is this guy? <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Alright. Taking on Team Rocket boss, Giovanni. Who also happens to be the gym leader. That's crazy. Alright, he's leading off with Rhyhorn, so luckily, Peeves can counter this well with a Giga Drain. I could also use Shadow Ball, but Giga Drain just seems like, you know, let's just get it over with. Unless it doesn't... Okay, I was gonna say, unless it survives, then we gotta, you know, get rid of it, but... Or, deal with it another way, but okay. Alright, next I'm gonna send out Duck Trio, 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 Trio. So I'm gonna go with... Azula and Jupiter would be bad for this. Momo would be okay because it can fly. Or because it's flying type, so it can't get hurt by ground moves. And then there's obviously Peeves and Leonardo. But I'm gonna try Fig Fest out because Fig Fest, I don't know, Fig Fest really needs to to you know step up his game. So we're gonna try and start using Fig Fest here. Nice oh nice, a critical hit. That is beautiful. Alright. Now we've got Nido Queen. I'm gonna go ahead and see how long Pig Fest can last here. I doubt it'll last against Nido Queen very long. It's possible, but I just want uh, to see. Earthquake. Oh no. So I'm gonna definitely have to use uh, Peeves or Gold uh, Momo, just cause. Uh... Oh. Oh. Boo. Oh boo. I'm definitely gonna have to use Peeves or Momo just cause of Earthquake, and that's. Earthquake is such a powerful move that you have to pretty much either do something that's not super effective against or that it can't even hit at all. So I'm gonna go with Momo because Giga Drain won't do much against Nido Queen on uh with Peeves. So um let's do it and go. Let's see what this does. Not much at all. Only good thing is all oh, paralyzed. Never mind, there's no good things. Only good thing is we could use Bite and potentially start flinch haxing it. The only problem with that is Bite doesn't do very much damage. Oh, and we go second, so now we can't even make it flinch. That stinks. Uh, but he is going to use a Hyper Potion, so... But Momo's not going to last here, I can guarantee it almost. Just because it, it's not going to happen. Let's see Supersonic. Nope, I'm dead. Alright, down goes Momo. I guess we're gonna have to throw out our big guns here. Using Leonardo. And Surf. And it should go down because Surf is pretty powerful. It's got like 95 PP. Or no, 95 power, I mean. Alright, out comes Needle King, so we may as well do the same with that. Alright, Surf. And 
down and goes. Or right, hopefully. What? No way. That is messed up. No way. Alright, let's bite it. Dang it. Freaking hyper potion. Alright, I don't know if it has poison points, so I'm gonna be scared. No! Ah. Alright. Surf. Let's just end it. Oh, wait, he's got one more Pokemon. Never mind, I lied. We're not gonna end it. Bump. Bump, bump, bump. Bump. Bump, bump, bump. Rhyhorn. Let's throw Fe Thieves. Peeves back out there. Let's give him the, the moment to shine. He really needs a better... M she. Ooh, my mistake. She really needs the, uh... The, the, a better moveset. I mean, all I've got is Shadow Ball and Giga Drain. Uh, if I had Hypnosis or something, it would make Dream Eater much more helpful, but obviously it's not, so kind of awkward. But down goes Rhyhorn, up goes his experience, her experience, sorry, and ha! That was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge! Bum 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 bum. And we get 5,000 Poké Dollars. The Earth Badge makes Pokémon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokémon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokémon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokémon League challenge. TM26 from Giovanni. TM26 contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. So wow, Giovanni actually invented the TM for Earthquake. I actually didn't know that, and I usually consider myself pretty learned in the Pokemon mythos. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Next time, we're gonna go and visit Professor Oak and see what there is to do now that we have the freaking, all the, the badges. We have all the eight badges, guys! So we gotta go see what we can do with all eight badges. So thank you all for watching. And next time, we'll do what I just said. So have a great day and I will see you all in the next episode.